I'm Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on probability. In this playlist, you'll find many examples which are very interesting and may require different methods to solve. Base being counting principles, of course. Well, the question here is, 10 balls are distributed among three boxes. Find the probability that the second box will contain three balls. So in this particular case, imagine that we have these three boxes. And we need to find the probability that the second box has three balls. Right, so that is the question for you. You can always pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. <clears throat> now, since we have 10 balls and three boxes, what are the total number of combinations? So we can write total number of ways is Now every ball has an option to get into any one of these three. So it is three to the power of 10. So that comes in the denominator. Now we need to look for the favorable cases, right? We want three balls in the center box. That is what we need. Since we have 10 balls, we could select these three in how many ways? That is what we have to look for, right? So, so out of these 10 balls, so out of these 10, uh, you can select three in how many ways? So that is because they are not distinct, right? Any three can come. It is 10 C3. So these are the number of ways when you select three out of 10 for the second box right the rest can go into the other two boxes so basically now we have selected three that means 10 minus 3 which is 7 so 7 balls can go in the other two boxes clear how many ways are there for those things to happen for the seven balls to go into the other two boxes so when you select these three seven will go here so that is we have got two boxes and seven balls so this is equal to two to the power of seven right so the total favorable cases let's say our event is a so the favorable cases for us will be 10 c3 times 2 to the power of 7 okay and total number of ways are 3 to the power of 10 and therefore we get the probability as 4 this particular event as a ratio of 10 c3 times 2 to the power of 7 divided by 3 to the power of 10 okay so that is how you could actually find the solution for this question correct so that's your answer well let's see the number also so we have 10 c3 times 2 to the power of 7 and then we are going to divide this by 3 to the power of 10 well that gives you 5120 over 19683 I think okay so the probability is around 26 percent which is 0 0.26 or is 26 percent okay so that is how you could actually solve this question so let's look into it the constraint given to us is that in the second box we should have three balls right so we'll begin from there selecting three out of ten means choose three out of ten ten c3 when you do that the other seven balls could be placed in these two so that is two to the power of seven so the favorable options for us are product of these two total of course we have 
three different boxes and 10 balls, so 3 to the power of 10, which comes in the denominator, and we get our answer as 26%. So I hope that makes sense. Feel free to watch other videos in this playlist as these are the selected videos which can really help you to solve some tough questions. Thanks a lot for watching and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that will be great. Feel free to share them with your friends. Thank you.